Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to split large files and combine multiple smaller files in any Windows computer. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, first of all, you need to open any web browser and you need to visit to this website. I'll be providing this website link too in the video description so you can click there and log into this website. So, once you log into this website, you can see here download now options so you click download and install it and remember this software named as free file splitter which is a GS split is completely free of course so you don't need to purchase anything so you download and install it as I have already downloaded and installed it so I'm not going to do it again so you download firstly and install it so after installing what you need to do is you can see here the application name as split on your computer desktop just double left click it to open or run it so on opening the application for the first time you can see its user interference there are lots of functions so let me show you directly so here file to split so you need to browse the file where your file is located say I'll browse where my file is located So here you can see I have one file, whether it's a video or audio or documents, whatever it may be. So here in my case, I'm having one audio. You can see the file size is 8.67 MB. So I want to split it into smaller files. So I will just select it, click on open. After selecting your file, now you can see here in the above split you can just directly click on here split it will automatically get split so once you are done you can see here below open the folder in the windows explorer that is the folder where it has been saved just click on here so under this you can see here there's lots of files that has been splitted but you can't see any mp3 file here right so here you can see the same icon of like the Z split just double left click it so here it will say you to unite that is now you can combine all the smaller files into one file so just click on unite now we will get the same file that is the same large file which you have split into multiple files so here is the original file as you can see back it is almost 8.67 again so in this way you can split the large files and combine multiple smaller files very easily so let me make you some clearance about this application so here you can see here some more options you can see here type and size so just click on it so here you will get some presets suppose you want to split all the large files into similar size of the small size that is suppose i want to set the size of all pieces files or you can set different file size depending upon your needs so i will highly recommend you to set the first option i want to set the size of all the pieces files similarly like so say if you're having a video file which is like 1 gb then 1 MB will not be suitable for you because if you create 1 MB each file then for 1 GB I think it will be take a lots of lots of smaller features so it's not convenient so you can choose your MB GB so if your video is like 1 GB then I will highly recommend like going for like 100 or 200 MBs in this way so here you can set a file size of respective smaller file size and here you can just give a name of the file and here other properties where you want to save the file destination folder here you can see you can change the destination folder where you want to save the output file so here you can just browse and select the folder depending upon your needs here some more properties like you can just add some more files functionality some more so and here you can see you can combine but I'll highly recommend to use this software if you're willing to split the large files very easily using this Z-Split software. So 
If you find any difficulty in understanding this software, feel free to leave your comments below. I will try my best to help and guide you with your problem. So if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button. And lastly, thanks for watching.